Dave Parody of financialviz.com and thinkoutsidetheslide.com. When you're presenting the results of some analysis of your, uh, let's say, income or profit loss statement, and you want to show your audience how the results compare to a common goal, consider using a dashed line all on a column graph. Now, typically here's the results we get from analyzing. In this case, the example is the different margins in our regions in Q3. And we've calculated them, and the goal is 27%. To use this data, what we need to do is to prepare it for the graph. And to do that, we create a table that we're going to use in the graph. And a few things here to take note of. First of all, the data for the dashed line for the goal, you'll notice that it extends. It, it extends above one row and below one row in categories or regions that are not named. So there's no data in those rows other than the goal. This allows that dashed line to extend to the left and to the right of the columns when we actually create the graph. So we have to add that in. And the other thing you'll notice is that the title of that goal data series has a colon added to it. And the that's going to be important because when we add the data label, this name is going to be included in the data label. So we need to add the colon in there. So once we've done that, we can create the graph in Excel, and this is what it looks like. Now, when we're creating the graph, we start with a clustered column graph. And the first thing we do, we start to remove the elements that don't uh, really help the audience understand it. So things like the legend, uh, the title, the, the grid lines, the axis lines for both the horizontal and vertical axis. So we clean that up so that the audience will focus on what we really need them to be looking at. Second thing that I did here is, is I decided to use a minimalist vertical axis. So I could have removed it all together because I'm using data labels on each of the columns. So the audience knows what the values are from the data labels. But the reason I wanted to use the minimalist data axis is to prove to the audience that we were starting at zero. So the difference between the goal and the values of each column are not uh, distorted by using a non-zero baseline. So if that's going to be a concern for your audience, consider adding this minimalist measurement axis so at least the audience knows that you are starting at zero. The data, we want that to be prominent because, of course, that is the point of this visual. So what we've done is we've made the columns wider and added data labels for each of the columns. Now, you could do it outside the end, as I've done here in the example. You could do it inside the end. It kind of depends on where that dashed line sits and whether those data labels are going to be seen easily or not. And then finally, we actually have to turn one of those sets of columns into the dashed line. So we use what's known as a combo graph. We change the data series for the goal into a line, and then we can create it as a dashed line that's just formatting it. We add the data label onto just the last point on the line, the one that's on the right. And we create that data label to include both the series name and the value. This is important because if that goal changes in a future quarter, you update the data, the line will move to the correct position and the label will also move because it's driven by data. This can save you a lot of time updating in the future. So as a summary, if your message is to compare results to a common goal, in this case it was margins in each of the regions to the goal for the margin in the third quarter, then consider using a dashed line across all the columns in a column graph. So the dashed line is drawn all the way across the entire graph. And here's the example we looked at. This allows the audience to easily see is the measured value above or below the goal. And then you can discuss what needs to be done about that. If you want more examples of how you can effectively communicate the messages from financial results or analysis, go to financialviz.com or thinkoutsidetheslide.com.